Let me show you two guys a trick. I think you're gonna love it. It's a very, very difficult trick to do. Complicated sleight of hand, but don't worry, you're in the hands of a professional. Uh, so we're gonna have, uh, the reason it's tough is that normally you would choose a card and I'd have to try and find it. And that's hard enough as it is, but I'm gonna try and do two people at the same time. Uh, so it's twice as difficult as any other card trick that's ever been performed by anyone ever. There you go. Uh, so uh, if we start off with you, uh, do you wanna choose well, start off with you actually. Choose any of the cards you want, but choose a card from near the top. So you want that one, that's awesome. And then you choose a card from near the bottom. So there's lots of variety there. Uh, perfect, so that's two cards chosen from the deck. Uh, and now I'm gonna try and deduce what your cards are, but I'm gonna do it in a pretty funky way. Uh, let me cut the deck into four roughly equal packets. That's the first step. Uh, so let's move these, there we go. Uh, so you can see I've cut it into two, yeah, into four roughly equal piles, that's pretty good. And uh, we'll turn over a couple of these and then we'll give them some pretty crazy shuffles. I'm gonna shuffle those cards into those ones like that. Uh, and shuffle these ones into these cards like this. So that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna take quite some time to sort out. If you wanted to try this at home, I'd definitely recommend borrowing somebody else's pack of cards much more entertaining. Uh, we'll square those in as well. And then just to make it a huge heap of a mess, we'll shuffle those into those. So we've got a great big heap of face up and face down cards. Now the idea is that I'm gonna try to work out what your card is by making all of the cards that are face up turn face down one at a time throughout the entire pack with the exception of your card. Do you think that would be awesome? It would be awesome, but I haven't actually put your card back in the deck. Uh, so we'll wing it, we'll wing it, it won't matter. What we'll do is we'll just click our things over the pack and astonishingly now face up in numerical order all the way through the deck, I have all of the diamonds. There is the ace, two, three, four, no five, but the six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the jack, the queen and the king, which means you must have picked the five of diamonds. Fantastic stuff, couldn't have gone any better. Uh, but now we still need to work out your card, and that's going to be more tricky. Probably should have done the cool diamond thing first, because now we're going to have to sort out all the cards to find out yours. Uh, unless we just do the same thing again, I guess. Uh, concentrate on your card for a moment. Give it a little click, and now the diamonds that were reversed have changed into spades. So you must have chosen a spade, not the ace, the two, the three, the four, the five, the six, the seven, the eight, but it must be the nine, because I've got the ten, jack, queen, and king. It was the nine of spades. There you go. The world's most difficult card trick done pretty well, even if I say so myself.